You're watching News 10 ABC at 9 a.m. Welcome back, everyone. The ninth annual New York State Craft Brewers Festival is happening this weekend in Albany. And joining us right now is Guy Busey, the owner of Mixed Breed Brewing, who will be participating this weekend and giving us a sneak peek of what's happening. Guy, welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. So we've had you many times here. <laughs> Tell us about the unique name that you have, Mixed Breed. Yeah, so Mixed Breed obviously has the origins of the Mixed Breed, you know, dogs or animals, mm -hmm. things like that. But uh, one of the things that we like to do and kind of subliminally or not super over the top is, uh, is our patriotic aspect of it. So mixed breed comes from what our squad was called when we were in Iraq because we came from every walk of life mm -hmm. and every background, ethnicity, you know, you name it, that's where we're from. So they call this a mixed bag or a mixed breed mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's where the name comes in for it. And what's your specialty when it comes to your craft brews? Yeah, so we're really known for our IPAs, or New England IPAs, or hazy IPAs, as everybody calls it. We have our middle-aged snowboarder for the, the season here today, <laughs> which is one of those. Perfect. Yeah. And then uh, we also do fruited sours, and we're really known for our holiday stouts and our dessert mm -hmm. stouts, things like that. Very fun. As we're looking ahead to this Craft Brewers Festival, for the people at home, what does a craft brew mean, and how exactly do you make it? You brought us some uh, <laughs> key elements right here. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, well, basically, you know, in its simplest form, beer is made out of four ingredients. You have water, you have barley or grain, you have your hops that go into it, and then last but not least, very, very important, is the yeast that goes in there to eat up all those sugars and turn the sugar into alcohol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For those that maybe have not participated in the festival before, what can people expect this weekend? Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. So, number one, the, the festival is for New York State, and it's, it's for the organization that helps breweries in New York State. So they do a ton of things for us to allow us to help pass bills, to get our licenses, to do all those things. So you're really supporting a really, really great organization that obviously supports all the breweries in New York State. Um, but on top of that, you get to see a ton of breweries from New York State and kind of get to do a, a really fast pass of <laughs> trying, you know, a hundred different beers <laughs> as you go you along. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so bring a water bottle with you, be able to cleanse the palate, sure. those type of things mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. yeah, It's like one step up from a wine tour, I imagine, <laughs> yes, 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 that yes. you're getting to taste all those yeah. things. Yeah. Now, you have been in this industry for quite a while. You've learned a ton about brewing. <laughs> Tell me about what is it like in this industry, in this community, because there's so many brewers here in New York State, especially in upstate New York. <laughs> yeah, so so having three businesses and all of those businesses kind of being in different areas, sure. the brewing business and brewing industry is probably one of the nicest and greatest and most mm. community organized portions that I've been in. I mean, you can run out a bag of grain, you can need something, you can have a question, and you can call on your other peers in the industry and they are more than willing to help and will awesome. bend over backwards for you. Yep. For those fans of Mixed Breeze, where can they see you this weekend? Uh, so you'll see us at the Desmond uh -huh. on Saturday yes. for the uh, for the festival. We'll be in one of the rooms or at one of the booths mm -hmm. as you walk around and, and you'll know we're there because there's four of us and usually we have music going on in the background and we like to pop champagne bottles and, and turn it into a And guy time. dances, I've heard. <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> okay. I just made that up. <laughs> yeah, now, as, as we kind of head out, Guy, can you give us just a talk about what this would taste like if someone tried this <laughs> sure. very interesting named <laughs> yeah, brew? Yeah, absolutely. So I brought you guys some gifts, some of our swag and stuff. Oh, nice, thanks. That's for you. But uh, New England IPA is really uh, focusing on the dry hops that are going into it. So basically you're taking a hop, goes into it after the boil process, during the fermentation aspect of it, and that really brings out uh, what's called teals, which is ultimately a mango, fruity, mm. kind of apricot, depending on what type of hop you put in, the different uh, tropical flavors that are gonna yeah. come from there as well. I can't wait to try it in a <laughs> yeah. couple of months, definitely. <laughs> Guy, thank you for joining yeah, us, really appreciate it. Again, Saturday, you can go to that festival. Mm. We're gonna be right back.